Hi, I'm Steve Boyko. I want to walk you through this game called Port City by Pixel Federation. This is a shipping game where you're basically shipping materials from place to place, manufacturing other materials in factories, and participating in special events. Uh, if you've ever played the game Train Station 2, also by Pixel Federation, this will be very familiar to you. The mechanics of the game are pretty much identical. A lot of the graphics are the same, and you'll probably see a few characters in here that you've seen before. I just started playing it, so I'm uh, pretty new at the game, but as I said, it's a lot like Train Station 2, so it was instantly familiar to me. So let's go around the user interface here. So on the top left, you've got your level here, and if you click on it, it tells you the number of experience points you have and how much you need to get to, to go up to the next level. There's my username, Train Geek. Uh, up here, top left, again with the hatch, this is the number of captains, sailors, dispatchers. And basically that is the limit of how many ships you can have doing stuff at once. So I have four of them. So I have three ships out. Uh, that means I have I can send one more ship. You can always buy more. And uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Continuing across the top. Population here, 40. City population of 40. Uh, if, if it gets to this green like this, I can ex expand my warehouse. And there's this thing called city plans which uh, at level six doesn't matter, uh, but it will come into effect later if my experience with Train Station 2 has anything to do with it. These plans are used to build buildings and expand buildings. Keys, so you can, I have 40 keys. Keys are used to buy things in the shop, uh, mostly containers for more ships. Uh, dollars, um, the coins, they're here. Gems are here. Gems are used for a lot of different things. They're used for speeding things up. They're using for buying missing materials used for expanding factories and so forth. And finally over here is the settings and settings is where you can do, do things like turn music on and off, that kind of stuff. Redeem codes, so uh, uh, the Pixel Federation normally shares some codes every week or so and uh, you get bonus stuff if you redeem the code here. Um, connect account means that if you connect it to your, your Google Play or um, Apple um, Game Center account, then you can use this same game on multiple devices and it picks up where it left off. So that's what that's for. Along the side here, this is for buildings. Uh, as you can see, unlocks at level 9, so I have no buildings yet. This is the ships, so as, as you go along, you're going to get more ships. Uh, these are the ships that I've got so far. Uh, you start with one ship and then you unlock more ships by redeeming containers or participating in events. So at the top here are the ships that I have. See, I have a duplicate. I have two blue noses. And at the bottom here, are these are the ships in this map, the San Francisco map, that I don't own yet. So, um, and you can see there's the map named San Francisco. Speaking of maps, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, so this one here is my warehouse. You can see the different materials that I have. So iron ore and coal are things that you just go get, and steel and pig iron are things that you manufacture in a factory. And your warehouse has a limit in size, 470 out of 500, and you can upgrade it because if you have enough population and you have enough coins. Because I just started out, I don't have any coins to speak of, so I can't upgrade and I don't really need to. This is your job list here, and your job list shows basically a bunch of people and what they want you to deliver. They want you to deliver, this guy wants, well, let's go pick, pick her. She wants me to deliver a bunch of these ore pellets. Um, it'll take 30 seconds for a ship to get, get, get there and come back. And if I deliver all eight, that, remaining ones that she wants. She can be 20 experience points and 25 keys. And there's three sh suitable ships and it's a region one. So as you go into go into more maps, uh, some of these jobs will, will be for a certain region. So uh, only the ships in that region can do the job and there'll probably be limits based on the, on the type of ship, whether it's a common or a rare or epic, just like train station two. The number of jobs will vary depending on whether there's a special event going on. And already in the first six levels here, the number of jobs has been as low as two, and currently it's at, uh, what, five. So uh, it varies a lot. This is a selector for the regions. There's only one region that I have unlocked. I'm 44% through San Francisco. Uh, Rotterdam, Scandinavia, and Japan will unlock at higher levels. So I uh, haven't got there yet. I just started playing this. So. On the right side here, uh, as you get to certain achievements, you will unlock these things and get bonus gems. And if you want to watch a, an ad, you get a double reward. This is pretty standard in 
Pixel Federation games. You can double reward by watching an ad. And down here at the bottom right, this is the shop. So at the shop, you can redeem uh, keys for a contain basic container. And at level 10 and above, you can redeem twi twice as many keys for an advanced container. And you can redeem gems for a supreme container. The difference between these containers is here the rarity drop chance, they call it. The chance of getting a uh, different ship. So 75% chance of getting a common ship. So most of the time, three quarters of the time, you're going to get a common ship, probably one you already have. Um, but if you look at, say, a supreme container, uh, you won't get a common ship. And you have a 55% chance of a rare, 35 of epic, and 10 of a legendary. But it costs you a lot of gems. And then there's usually daily offers. And in the daily offers, um, you can. there's always one that you can just play an ad and get that. And then uh, these other ones, it costs you gems or coins. And uh, so these are parts. So that's the next thing I'll talk about there. This, see this thing here? This is a box of parts, and these are just common parts. So parts are used for upgrading ships. So if you look at a ship, if I click on, say, this ship here, um, in order to upgrade it, I need to have six common parts, five uh, rare parts, and 14 coins, and then I can up, it'll enable me to upgrade at one level. So from, uh, from a capacity of eight to plus one to nine, and 30 here is the maximum capacity. So eight out of 30. So at the most, this ship can go to 30 capacity. This one can go to 45. These, the common ones can go to 20. The other thing is, if I wanted to say dismantle this guy, I can throw away uh, extra ships, duplicate ships, and I get a certain number of, of parts for that, for ship parts for that. Be careful of dismantling things. Uh, I wouldn't do it uh, willy-nilly. Uh, dismantling common ones is probably okay, but dismantling uh, any anything above a common, probably not a good idea, at least until you have a lot of them. So uh, you can look at one of my train videos about ships, about uh, trains, and the same uh, same um, recommendations apply there. So uh, back in the shop. So ships, you get the daily offers. There's sales where you can spend um, spend money, and they they give you offers. You can buy gems with real money buy coins with gems and ship pilots so ship pilots um, as you level up you get this opportunity get, to get an extra pilot so I've got to level six and at level six I have the op opportunity if I have 400 steel which I do I can use that to redeem a new pilot so there and then now you can see I have an extra pilot and the next pilot unlocks at level 15 if I want to spend gems if I wait till level 26 I'm going to use 20, 500 of these uh, looks like a saw um, always you, Donald here is available every six hours you can play an ad and then you get him for an hour uh, and then you can redeem gems to get grace and if you unlock grace then you can redeem for Carl and then you can redeem for Kano um, so you can use gems to, to borrow these guys for either 24 hours or seven days so that's that um, this thing here is a, a once daily bonus if you click on that you can see that I get 20 rare engine parts, or if I watch an ad, I get twice as much. Uh, I'm not going to show you the ad, so I'm just going to claim the 20. Um, and uh, that's that. He, he goes away, so now... Um, and the other thing here is you can see I have a... This guy has finished, this job is completed, and so I'm going to collect it. So there's going to be a little graphics here. So I'm going to collect it, collect it. I'm going to get the experience points, the keys, and the gold. And when I collect it, you'll also see on the map... Um, that something will happen. If I go back to the San Francisco region, I think um, you might see, so if I was on the San Francisco region, you would have seen an animation, these things fill in. For example, the San Francisco bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge wasn't here before, but as I did successive jobs, pieces filled in. So that's kind of neat to see progress. And um, so, and each of these guys has a story. So you can see here, uh, he's talking about uh, bridge wings from the battleship. So he wants, uh, he wants me to send a bunch of st steel there. So um, how do you make steel? So you go back to your home page, and you start with one factory here, this one, where you can make steel. And to make steel, you need, um, you need coal, and which I don't have enough of, you can see. It's only nine, I need 30, and you, uh, or pellets. And then uh, you, can, you can store a certain amount of completed materials here. I already upgraded this once. You can use gems to upgrade to buy an extra slot. A good idea, might be based on my experience at Train Station 2. 
it's a good idea to buy extra slots. This is a really good use of gems. So if I take these extra um, steel, now I can send some more steel to this guy who wants it. So he wants it, it's going to take 30 seconds to get there, so off he goes. 10 more to finish it, <coughs> excuse me, and then in 28 seconds he'll be finished. Um, what else? That is pretty much it. I, I talked about the factories. I think after a while up here, based on train station 2, these buildings are going to fill in and you're going to have more buildings and this is how you're going to get population. You're going to upgrade buildings up here. That's my guess. And then more factories are going to come here and then you'll have event factories over here. This Everything looks very much like train station 2 except it's all ships. So I think this is really cool. I really like the idea of this uh, a, a, a ship thing and uh, this is a really cool uh, addition to Pixel Federation's fleet of games and you can see here that now I can upgrade these things so I can upgrade him and now he's at 17, 18 and now I, I run out of coins so I can't do any more so uh, that's a whirlwind introduction to the game Port City by Pixel Federation I hope you like it, if you like this video give me a like, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel Thanks very much. Have a great day and have fun playing.